Hi guys, and welcome in this new video. In this video, we'll talk about a very frequent question which we can see on a lot of quantitative forums. Should we use Python or C++? And you will see that the answer is not so easy. And at the end of this video, I will explain you which language I use and why. But before going deeper, I just wanted to make a quick highlight on my new blog, the Quantrios blog. 100% free, we'll have for now only blog posts, but very soon we'll have a tutorials tab, which will be also 100% free. And the first one will talk about the backtest, all that you need to know about backtest, which is much more complex than just testing your strategy on historical data. But now let's get back to the subject of this video. Should we use Python or C++ in quantitative finance? I think the featured image gives you a small opinion about which language I prefer, but I will give you a detailed answer at the end of this video. First of all, I want to talk about the strength and the weaknesses of Python and C++. Of course, each language is good, but it depends on your goal. There is not one best language for all the quants. There is the best language for each quant. It depends on the project you are working on. And I did a quick recap about the strengths and the weaknesses of each language. The popularity. Python is much more popular than C++. And the advantage is the more it is popular, the more you can find code ready to use in your own project. The second is the simplicity. Python is much more simple than C++. On the other hand, this simplicity make Python less speed than C++. Indeed, C++ is very, very speed. But Python is the most used language for machine learning and artificial intelligence because of all the libraries ready to use that you can integrate in your own project. And the last important point is that on Python, you can do a very rapid prototyping instead of on C++ that you need to create a strong architecture. So all of that to say that Python is much more easy to use. That is quite obvious once you have seen this table. But C++ is much more efficient. It's much more quick than Python. And that's why I insist on the point that there is not a best language for all the quants, but the best language for each quant. If you're working on day trading strategies, do a data analysis, do some data science projects, okay, you need to use Python, especially if you are not using a lot of data. And by a lot of data, I mean, if you are using a database with less than 1 million data, it's very quite good to use Python, okay? Because the computation will be less speed than on C++, but you will earn a lot on the programming side because it's much more easy to work with. But if you are beginning, for example, a project in high frequency trading or with a huge databases, you need to use C++, especially, of course, if it's in live trading, because you can use Python to live trade some trading strategies. You are trading a day trading strategy, you are trading a swim trading strategy. Python is quite enough because the latency will be nothing against all the variation that you will have in your position. But if you are using a very small time frame trading strategy like scalping or high frequency trading, you need to use C++ because this latency can have a huge impact on your performances. So C++ is better if you are working on high frequency trading and very small time frame trading strategies. So now you know all the advantages and the weaknesses of Python and C++ and you know where you need to use which one. But I will explain which one I use in my own project and why. Personally, I use only Python because it's much more easy to use and as I share a lot of my code with my community and especially the alpha quant community, I need to keep it as simple as possible. And if I need to have a lot of speedness in my computation, essentially I use it only for tick processing because if you are working, for example, on the S&P 500 futures and you are using the ticks, for 10 years you can have 
50 gigabyte or 80 gigabyte of data. So you need something that is very efficient. To deal with that, I use Julia because Julia is very close to Python. So it's very similar, but in the same time is nearly as quick than C++. So personally, I use Python nearly all the time and Julia when I have no choice to have something very, very speed. So I hope you like this video and don't hesitate to go on my blog to check my latest blog posts.